trying to paint a portrait for my photo part two. Actually working on two because, um, you know, there's dry time and uh, there's a double chance that one is going to come out so half decent. Uh, these two are looking good. I got these three practice faces and that's what I'm going to start on now because, um, of course, capturing a likeness in the face is going to be like the, uh, the uh, ultimate goal. <laughs> Everything else could just be kind of wishy-washy. Uh, if the face looks good. Of these three, this one is my favorite because this, because of this uh, shape and form, it has like definition and uh, some depth. And uh, unfortunately, it looks more like a baby polar bear than a uh, kid. But uh, all the same, if I could achieve the face, uh, you know, uh, form without lines, then that would be uh, uh, great. But Anyway, so having said that, now I'm going to try to do it with lines and light brown and go darker after. Another thing, if I paint with the paper laying here, uh, then if I get it right, it's going to look skewed like a paper laying on the, on the uh, you know, a flat surface and, and my angle of, of observation is down here. So I'm going to sort of hold it up here close and then uh, let's give it a go. Looks terrible, but that's why I got three practice heads and two paintings. Also a benefit, I use pretty light tones here. So if I go darker and darker, I still have plenty of room uh, to develop the, uh, the uh, characteristics and uh, features. <laughs> 